maybe I would have used them if uh, if I didn't have Katie on waivers right now for lining me up for the worst fucking haircut of all time. Can we put I the sent- pictures up? Ugh. Grinelli, post this picture that I ended up send- sending with. The-, the funniest part about it is I get a FaceTime call from Yans, and I'm like, oh, he's calling to check in, and he goes, show me your haircut. Show me your haircut. Show me your haircut. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> so she lines me up with this guy ra so when she first got to town she reached up to a couple of her, her girlfriends to be like hey where can i get my hairstyle so she ended up going in she got a cut she enjoyed it but she's like this guy was the most obnoxious guy that i've ever been around in my entire life so i normally go to a bar- barber and i get the fades done so now that my hair went crazy i needed somebody to style it like a tiktok star so we end up she ends up lining this up or she, excuse me, she messaged him. She goes, do you know anybody who could style men's hair? Here's my boyfriend salad. And, and he goes, well, when's he need it by? She says, well, in the next couple of days. So he goes, come, she, I think the guy goes, come by at five 30 tonight. So perfect. So we line up a haircut. We're heading over the most there. annoying guy in the world. The most buddy, my, my Did blood she tell you that before she, so this keep in mind, I don't know this. This is something that I found out afterward. Oh, but she did wait, you so dirty, dude. But I say afterward, I, I got to experience it. While we're driving to the haircut, she goes, just a heads up. Okay. This guy's extremely obnoxious. And I'm like, oh, whatever. I'm going to be in the chair for 30 minutes. If he dials in my salad, who gives a fuck? I'm like, I work painful. with wit. I can I'm like, it. I'm fucking painful. Who cares? I, I mean, people listen to me talk for hours on this thing. So, and then she goes, oh, yeah, also... He was in an ATV accident last week, so he's a little banged up right now. So I'm like, uh, okay. I mean, we're fucking pulling in as I'm being told this. So I I get in there, and he's everything is advertised on top of the fact that he probably just did a big bowl of woof because this guy didn't shut the fuck up for 35 fucking minutes. So as soon as I sit down in the chair, he's like, well, how do you want it style? I said, well, I want it shorter on the sides. I want it to blend it up to the top and I want to leave the length in the top. I said, I do like to get my neck cleaned up with the, with the clipper though. The, you know, the, yeah. so he goes, okay, perfect. We'll do that before we wash your hair. Awesome. He literally go, I got, you know how at the, at the back of your head where sometimes it goes into a little bit of a point, he just literally goes, zzz, takes the point off. And then he start, and then he grabs his scissors out in, in the in the brush. And I said, uh, and, and now I'm on my fucking heels, like McDavid's coming down on me one on one, working my goddamn triangle. So I said, wait, are you said you said you were gonna wash it before we start cutting. He's like, oh yeah. So then we walk oh, over to it's for him to forget. So now I'm fucking reminding him of his job. Okay, so I don't know if he like I said he took a couple key tokes, whatever it was. So we walk over to 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 get my hair washed. I have an SOS pad. My mom's half black. That's one thing that I inherited was I have very, very thick hair. So he puts me down in this chair and proceeds to spray the, the water gun at my head for five seconds. So basically one strand of my hair is wet. No, it bounces off your hair. <laughs> it hit him right back in the face. Like you it do at least five minutes on your hair. So my hair is actually remotely damp. My hair is actually drier than when I sat down. Uh, <laughs> so he puts shampoo in proceeds to shampoo my head for about five to 10 seconds, sprays my head for another five seconds, puts conditioner in, starts rubbing my head for about five to 10 seconds, sprays it for five seconds. All right, we're good to go. That's supposed to be like an eight minute experience when you're getting your hair washed at the. And listen, do I need a full scalp massage? No, but wash my hair properly and get it ready to go and get the full thing wet so you can cut it Wait, I am. I'm like shaking at this point, walking back to see, and I, you know, he, as I said, he's got me on my heels, so I can't abort the mission at this point. I'm walking back, and I run my hand through my hair, shampoo and conditioner in, in the palm of my hand. So I sit down, and, and he just starts blabbling on. Mind you, Katie's sitting right next to me, and she can kind of see something's up. He cuts one side of my hair and throw the picture up again. He cuts the one side 20 times. He's blabbing along, cuts a little off the top, cuts the other side about two or three times, and then he starts styling it with his fingers a little bit. He goes, all right, how do you like it? And Katie stands up. She goes, uh, I think, uh, and she knows I'm going to fucking lose it when we leave this place because she, <laughs> she could see the look on my face. So she goes to the side where you only cut a couple times. She's like, I think you need to take a little bit more off this side. So he starts cutting a few more times. And then, and then she's like, eh, and she starts to chime in. I said, nope, looks great. What do I owe you? He goes, 30 bucks. I tip him 10. We get out of there. 
As soon as we walk out, she goes, are you going to text Mike, the guy who normally cuts my hair? I said, I've already sent the fucking text. So Katie's on waivers. I, she went right from the show to the ECHL. So we riding the, the, the sleeper bus eating soggy subs for at least a month here. So it, it's luckily, amazing what he was able to do from the picture you sent me to what it looks like now. Is your is the back line a, a nightmare, though? No, no, it's not. It, no, it, it's not as it's it's got to grow in a little bit. But one of the details I forgot to mention when I got back to the seat, you know how after it's a little bit wet, they start combing it in order to like get it going before they cut it. Every time that he put the brush in my head, it got stuck because of the curls. He didn't try to keep going to get it through. He just went till it got stuck and then like pried the brush out and then did it again and then pried the brush out. Never once did he actually go all the way to comb it through. So I want to fight the fucking guy in rough and rowdy Grinelli. I was on vacation after that. Like that's like... And a tough day. And everybody listening to this has been to a haircut where they know that the minute they sit down, it's not going to go well. Although, R.A., you might be a special case because you're kind of an off the glass and out. Like, how long have you just been shaving your head? Uh, about 20 years now. Like, Before, I mean, obviously, I'm not consistent. I'll let it grow out and then blow go the barber every once in a while. But I, I, I initially shaved it about 20 years ago when I looked and realized I was living a lie. And and with based off the picture and the fact that the sideburn my sideburns when I left there were longer than the hairs on top of my head. So I think I think anybody who's watching this on, on YouTube has seen how fucking ridiculous my head looked after I left there. And one of the worst I, haircuts I've ever seen. Ever seen. I think I, I thought Ashton Kusher was gonna pop out. I thought I was being punk, but I guess not. So uh no more blue Nile for for Katie. And sorry for wasting everybody's time with that story. 